Hello you, hello me, hello everyone, it's music time today. La 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 Hello, it's Anne here from Branch Into Music. Oh, hi Rainbow Flower. I'm feeling really excited, Fluff. Why is that, Anne? Well, I just love this series of musical moments. It's called Sing Me a Story. I love stories, Anne. Me too, Fluff. And as we all know, reading to children is essential for developing their early literacy skills. Most of the educators and parents that I know read stories to their children every single day. But singing a story is a lovely alternative to reading a story. Ah! The beauty of a musical story or picture book set to words of a song is that the lyrics and the words are often repetitive and the melodies are simple and memorable. This makes them easier for children to remember and sing along or sing back to you. When our children are actively engaging with text, it does wonders for their brain development and their literacy skills. So cool, Anne. I know, Fluff. And let's not forget that singing together makes us happy. It lowers our stress levels, promotes healthy self-esteem and build self-confidence. So good! Would you like me to sing you a story, Rainbow Fluff? Yes, please. Okay then, make yourself comfortable, Fluff, and friends, and I'll see what I can find. Ten Little Fingers and Ten Little Toes Written by Mem Fox with pictures by Helen Oxenbury. There was one little baby who was born far away and another who was born on the very next day. And both of these babies, as everyone knows, had ten little fingers and ten little toes. There was one little baby who was born in a town and another who was wrapped in an eider down. And both of these babies, as everyone knows, had ten little fingers and ten little toes. There was one little baby who was born in the hills and another who suffered from sneezes and chills. And both of these babies, as everyone knows, had ten little fingers and ten little toes. There was one little baby who was born on the ice and another in a tent who was just as nice. And both of these babies, as everyone knows, had ten little fingers and ten little toes. But the next baby born was truly divine, a sweet little child who was mine, all mine. And this little baby, as everyone knows, 
has ten little fingers and ten little toes and three little kisses on the tip of its nose. was so lovely, eh? Thanks, Fluff. I hope all our friends out there enjoyed the story too. I'm looking forward to hearing what everyone thinks. Have you ever sung a story to your little people? Let us know in the comments below or send us an email. Fluff and I love hearing from you. We sure do. And make sure you share this video with all of your friends and colleagues. Yeah! Well, that's it from us. Until next time. Come, my friends, let's gather round. It's time to sing goodbye. We'll sing and play another day. So long, farewell, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.